Hello my beautiful ninjas and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. Thank you so much for tuning back in. If this is the first time that you're watching me, again my name is Nani and I typically post videos every single week. So if you're interested in finding out, you know, um, how I apply my makeup and different tips for natural hair, um, and just a whole bunch of random stuff <laughs> that definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also for those of you who have already subscribed make sure that you also click that bell so you're always notified every time I upload a new video because I am getting on a new schedule and I want to make sure that you guys don't miss my uploads but as you guys can tell by the title in today's video I am going to be comparing three fragrances and they are obviously all three from Queen Bee and these are the three that I have here. I've talked about these individually before, but I never have done like a comparison video. So in case you guys are interested in possibly purchasing any of these, I wanted to just give you guys my, you know, uh, thoughts and opinions on them and what season I think that these are all pretty much best suited for. They're all very affordable, very inexpensive. The website that I use when I um, purchase my fragrances, like I mentioned to you guys before, is fragrancenet.com. I purchase a lot of my fragrances from there, so I know sometimes there's a lot of online sites and you're like, you're not really sure if you can trust it. I purchased a lot of fragrances from that site and this is obviously not a sponsored video or anything like that. These companies don't know who I am. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts and opinions and just kind of let you guys know what I like about each of them and kind of like the cons to each of them. They all obviously smell really, really great. And of course, during the summertime, we're all outside. We're all, you know, spending more time with people and things like that because, you know, we have like our little um, time off and some of you guys are off from school and things like that. So since we're gonna be around people, we wanna make sure that we stay smelling good so and delicious. <laughs> so let me go ahead and jump right into it because I do not want this video to be super duper long. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with with this one and I think I mentioned this in a favorites video before this is this was a limited edition but I think when I went online to look for it again on fragrance net I don't I didn't find it but I did find it on Amazon so I'll make sure to leave links to everything that I can find down below in the description box so make sure that you guys check down there in case you're interested in purchasing any of these items but this is the Beyonce I think it's called like Mrs carter world tour or something like that it was like a limited edition and this one i believe the pricing that i found pretty much the average cost for all three of these are going to be anywhere between like 20 to 40 dollars so again very inexpensive they're a decent size the packaging is beautiful in my opinion i love the fact that she just kind of like did different colors for all of them and i feel like the colors suit the seasons that I think that these work best for. So this beautiful aqua blue color, this is definitely a very light, fresh, clean type of scent. It smells absolutely amazing. As you guys can see, I'm pretty much damn near done with this. This smells so good. I think that this is pretty much, to me, this is perfect spring, summer. Uh, this is a perfect spring and summer scent. It's very light and airy and fresh and clean and it has a hint of like sweetness to it but nothing too overpowering. So I really really love it for that. But it's not like, it lingers very nicely on the body to where you smell it and you smell good. But at the same time it's not too sweet to where you kind of feel like you're, I don't know, like you smell like a cake or something like that. It's it's just a perfect balance between light, fresh and light and fresh and then also like sweet and fruity so it's like a perfect balance this one says let me see because i did write down the actual fragrance notes so basically this one says it has pink pepper acai berry mango steam orchid violet jasmine violet and jasmine so it has some um, sweetness like i said to it because it has that floral scent and it also has like, some type of fruitiness um, as well to it so it's like floral and fruity and it also is very light and fresh i'm sorry if this that's really confusing but that's just pretty much the easiest way that i can explain it i think that this is definitely something that i would recommend like i said for spring and summertime it's just i mean the packaging is huge so it might not be the best for like traveling or anything like that but 
I think that if you're looking to pretty much like add another spring summer fragrance to your collection this is definitely something that I would recommend like I said I drown myself in this it smells really good it does linger on the body for a long amount of time I typically reapply all my fragrances throughout the day just because I like to smell it like very strong on myself but I think that this definitely is enough to last like all day if you don't want to bring it to work with you or wherever you're going so this is definitely something that I would recommend like I said for spring and summer the next one that I want to go ahead and discuss with you guys is going to be this orange one and I'm just going to go ahead and read off the uh, fragrance notes it's blood orange cherry passion fruit orchid and hibiscus this one smells amazing honestly it says that on the website it says that it's for like casual i guess use but honestly i think that you can wear this pretty much year round and you can wear this in the daytime or the nighttime it's very very like i don't even know how to explain it this smells amazing like it's very sweet musky fresh light fruity it, it it has like a little bit of everything in this but it's like I don't even know which one stands out the most for me because it's like I don't even know how to explain it y'all like it smells absolutely amazing like I said this one I drown myself in this as well and I love the pretty orange packaging but honestly I think that this is something that you can wear year round and you can wear this at daytime or at nighttime it's like it's light enough for you to wear throughout the day but it's very like very sweet so you smell like really delicious throughout the day and then also it's kind of like musky enough to wear it's sexy at nighttime as well like i don't know how to explain it but this is definitely something that i would recommend honestly if you don't want like a particular like spring and summer scent or like a you know daytime or a nighttime scent and you're looking for just like an all-around good fragrance to purchase this is the one that i would recommend to you guys a hundred percent this one is like the perfect it's just perfect it's perfection it's like literally i feel like these two pretty much had a baby and it was the orange one and it's perfection because this one like i said is very light summery fresh clean this one which i'm going to go into as well is very like musky um like a deeper musky sexy type of scent and this one is just literally they had a baby it's like a perfect mix between the two and it just it's perfect year-round scent it's a year-round scent you can wear it during the day or at nighttime and you're not gonna smell like you're doing a little bit too much like it is the perfect scent I would definitely recommend this a hundred percent and then I'm just gonna go into the red one really quick this is actually the first okay this one got a little dust on it I'm sorry so this is actually the first one that I purchased from this Beyonce heat, um, you know, fragrance line. This is the first one that I ever purchased. And as you can see, this one actually has the most left in it. And I've had this the longest. And it's not because I don't like it. It's just that because of the scent, it's more like nighttime. And I would say more of like fall, winter not even fall i would say more of like winter like a straight up winter nighttime scent it's very just to me just in my opinion you might smell this and feel like you know you can wear this all the time during the day or at nighttime but for me personally and the way that it works with my body chemistry it's very like dark musky sexy like deep type of scent let me actually read off the fragrance notes for you guys. So this one says it has sequoia, milkwood, almond mac macaroon, blush peach, magnolia, tonka bean, neroli, amber, uh, creme de musk, red vanilla orchid, honeysuckle neck, and honeysuckle nectar. So I don't know what all that means to be honest with you guys, but I feel like the almond, the milkwood, the tonka bean, it's like a very like. I don't even know what the word is that I'm looking for. It's like a rich, I was going to say creamy, but that's just kind of like the thought that comes to mind when I think of those words. But like a rich, deeper, sexier, muskier type of scent, if that makes sense. I hope that that makes sense. But 
for me i honestly think that you could probably get away with doing this um during the fall time and the winter for sure but for me personally i also do wear this more towards like nighttime so if i wanted to wear this like I honestly would not wear this during the summertime to be honest with you but if I wanted to wear it during the summertime or like it throughout any season it would only be a nighttime like date night type of scent for me it's a very I don't know I feel like it's a very distinct smell so if you're looking more for something that's a little bit more sexy or a little bit more warmer this is the one that I would definitely recommend to you this is definitely going to continue to last me a long time just because I'm a homebody so I don't really go out like that and then on top of it because of the scent I only like to wear it during certain times of the year and I only like to wear it at nighttime. so I absolutely love this I will continue to repurchase this whenever I'm done with this because I think it's a very nice di distinct warm scent but like I said it's I can't really wear it year round just in my opinion and the way that it works with my body chemistry so like I mentioned to you guys this is the one that I would recommend if you're looking for a new scent you're not really sure of what you're looking for if you want something that's light and fresh or if you want something that's you know a sexier warmer type of scent if you're not really sure of exactly which way to go but you're looking to build your collection and you're looking and interested in finding you know some some of the Beyonce perfumes this is the way to go i don't even know what the name of this is i didn't write it down but i will make sure to leave it down in the description box so in case you guys are like i said interested in purchasing this one i will make sure to leave the links as well as the name of everything down below but this is the one that i would recommend a hundred percent this is just like the perfect in-between scent that you can wear year round and you can wear it during the day or at night time so that's pretty much all that I wanted to share with you guys. I absolutely love all three of them for different reasons. And I think that they're all perfect perfumes that you can add to your collection. They're not too expensive. Like I said, you'll be able to get them anywhere probably between like $15 to $50 just depending on where you go as well as the size that you decide to purchase. And that's going to be it. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. If you did like this video and you do want me to do more like comparison types video type of videos, make sure that you do give this video a thumbs up as well as make sure that you leave that in the comment section down below. And if you also have any of these fragrances, let me know what you guys think of it and how you use it and what seasons you like to use it in. Or if you have any other recommendations for perfumes, then definitely make sure that you leave that down below as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. Like I mentioned, Mentioned to you guys in the beginning of the video if this is the first time that you're watching a video from me hopefully you were able to be entertained or you know this video was informative enough for you to just subscribe to my channel and make sure that you also do click that bell so you're always notified every time I upload a new video but thank you so much for tuning in be safe stay blessed and remember to always treat yourself peace out